Welcome to our series on the cardiovascular system, exercise and measurement. This series will take you from the basics of the cardiovascular system and exercise to a more in-depth look at the system and some advanced training methods. In chapter one we're going to introduce you to the cardiovascular system. The cardiovascular system contains the heart, blood vessels and blood. The cardiovascular system transports oxygen and nutrients to the muscles and removes carbon dioxide and waste products from the body. The heart is a major organ of the cardiovascular system. The adult heart is about the size of a small fist and sits inside the chest, slightly to the left side in front of the lungs. The heart is a muscular organ that is two interconnected but separate pumps made up of four chambers. The upper chambers are called the left and right atria and the bottom chambers are called the left and right ventricles. The heart's function is to pump oxygen rich blood around the body. Each pump of the heart is referred to as a heartbeat. This is the contraction of the heart. This contraction is what pumps the blood around the body. The right side of the heart receives deoxygenated blood from the body and pumps this deoxygenated blood to the lungs. The left side of the heart receives oxygen rich blood from the lungs and pumps the blood to the rest of the body. The blood vessels are comprised of arteries, veins and capillaries. Arteries transport the blood away from the heart, veins transport blood back to the heart. Capillaries enable the actual exchange of water and chemicals between the blood and the tissue. The blood is a specialised bodily fluid that delivers necessary substances to the body cells such as nutrients and oxygen. The blood also transports waste products away from these same cells.